Well, hey everybody, it is November 3rd. Is it the 3rd or the 4th? I don't know. I think it's the 3rd. I think it's Tuesday. Well, yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> we spent a week here at the Willow Springs Dispersed Camping Area. If you want to know more about that, see the link above. And we are going to now head 100 miles south to the Comb Wash Dispersed Campground. It is embedded within the Bears Ears National Monument. Right. We stayed there three nights last fall with Ann. And hopefully there's room. I mean, it's a big area. There should be some place for us to be. Yeah. So we got to drive south. We're going to stop and dump our tanks and put on fresh water. But uh, yeah. so we're off chasing the warmer weather. Yay. We sure have had a fantastic stay oh, here. It's beautiful. And you There's always plenty to do. And you can't be free, right? Absolutely. Angie's going to drive the truck out and I'm going to fly the drone. Get a little drone footage. Oh, scary. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Come along. So here we are at the Maverick in Monticello. Mom and Dad are dumping. They have already filled up with diesel and we are getting fresh water. So you go inside the Maverick and they give you a key chuck to turn on this outside faucet in order to fill up. It's one of the reasons why we patronize Mavericks as much as possible. Hey baby, where are we? Butler yeah. Wash. Yes, we're gonna go. What are we gonna go see? The Anastasi ruins of Butler Wash. Okay. Yeah, right. We did this a year ago. Yeah. And if you want to see that video, do what? Click the link above, right? Yes. Is she leaving us, Jasmine? Go ahead. Well, should we go get her? So here we have the narrow-leafed yucca plant which has been used over the centuries to make shampoo from the roots and cords from the leaf fibers which, of which they make mats, baskets, sa and sandals. Cool.
So how was the walk up to the 700-year-old uh, Anastasi ruins? Awesome. It was awesome. Okay, so now where are we headed? Canyon? Cave? Oh, I was thinking it was canyon. Cave? Cave Tower Ruins. There you go. We're here at Cave Towers. We're going to walk out and see what's left of the ruins. And, and these ruins have not been... Um, yeah, they haven't been restored at all. Yeah. They're original structures. And we were here a year ago. Yes. And if you want to see, I'll put a link in the video there. Let's go see if the Anastasi have reestablished residency here. Wow, well, let's go see if the spring is still here. Yeah. All right. But, put a fence up it. So this is new from last year. They've put in this buck and pull fence and a little gate. Yeah, the only thing I can think is cattle. Probably to keep the cattle away from the ruins. The ruins themselves. Okay, everybody. So this indiscriminate gate on the south side of Highway 95 leads back to the cave tower ruins. And uh, I'm going to turn what would actually be northwest on Highway 95. And now I'm going to turn, slowly pan around, and go south, east. There's no signage or any indication whatsoever when you're coming down the roadway that that gate right there leads to such a dramatic, fantastic, thousand-year-old ruin. Well, hey, everybody. This is where I'm going to end this video. As stated in the video, Angie and I visited this area and hiked up to the Butler Wash ruins and the Cave Tower Ruins and did videos on those that are a little bit more in depth than what I showcased here. So if you'd like to check those out, I'll put links in the video and in the description below. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and follow Angie, Jazz, and I on our journey. Thanks for watching and we'll see you down the road.